Hello and welcome to the fourth Tekkit tutorial. This one is regarding power rather than infinite EMC. By the power of light and lava, we shall make energy. By that I mean we will be making lava cells directly from sunlight, and we shall be making energy from lava. Makes sense, but Right, now I've had a lot of trouble trying to record this, because, as you probably noticed by now, the stupid sensor that appears whenever I start or stop recording. And that's because the key to record on the fraps is F9. So I thought, okay, I'll remap my controls in Tekkit, which I thought would be easier than remapping the control to fraps. Uh, I ended up making it so that every time I click, the sensor that would appear. So I just couldn't be bothered to try and fix it, because it, every time I clicked I get a sensor net, and I just reinstalled tickets. And I had to find a texture pack, and oh, everything went wrong. Basically what I'm doing is I'm making it so that as you, um, these pipes will automatically deliver lava cells into the geothermal generators I've down, which generate energy from them. And this is the automating of the production of lava cells. We just use an energy condenser and a few energy collectors. I'm using Mark III's, but other side, other ones will work because I know Mark III's are very expensive. This is definitely my favorite way to make energy. What you do on a survival server is just make like one Mark II and just slowly produce energy over time. But either way works. It's just one way is quicker. You can see I forgot to spawn something in again, and look, it generates lava cells relatively fast, which is fine to keep the machines topped up, but for the first initial filling, we need to have more, so yeah, I just pretty much overclock it. As you can see, the dark room and milk are going fine, as well as the mushroom monstrosity. Right, then just add a few to the filter. How many you add will dictate how many it takes at a time. Initially, I only add 16, which means every tick it will take out 16, which is generally very good to keep the machines topped up. However, 8 also works fine, but I just use 32 to make it go quickly at first. Each geothermal generator holds 24 lava cells. It holds that, then it holds a stack. So you need a hell of a lot to fill all those. There's 15 of them in total, by the way. There's 15 to charge 6 MFSUs. There you go, there's a, there's a timer. Minimum tick rate of 0 0.45 seconds, of course. Okay, I just couldn't see my, my video for a second there. Not sure what I did, but you can see they're filling up quite fast, and not even all of them are going yet. So I just add that to make it 16. Then I realise it doesn't actually have the production capacity for that. So I just break in and shove diamonds in the, you know, the solution to everything. See, one diamond I think makes a stack of lava cells. Not 100% sure on that, but it's round about that. See, so you, you, it is pretty cost efficient. Although it's a bit painful in survival to think how many diamonds those things could have made you. Considering each lava cell is 128 EMC. Yeah, it's going to be a bit annoying. But oh well. UU you, Matter can make you up to quantum armor, which is so much better than diamond armor. And there we go. If you leave the 32 in there, It'll keep pulling out 32 every tick, although it will go back into the machine eventually. And it'll start lagging your world stroke server. And that's why I downclock it. Quite surprised this is running so well actually with the dark room and milk uh, mushroom thing going. But I think that's all for today. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe if you'd like, it would really help me. Thank you and goodbye.